All right, we're doing a Q&A today. This is my second video, proper video of the channel. By the way, before I start, if you want the best pre-workout, link in bio, I'm, I'm not TikTok, it's YouTube now. Link in description, code YouTube, biggest discount on the Dark Sims website, enjoy. So Q&A, we're gonna start with the easy, simple, fast answer questions, just get some stuff flowing. Um, I have my Instagram DMs, I did like a on poll of my story, I also have the comments from the last YouTube video. Um, so if you want your question answered in the next one, this can be about myself. If you wanna start a business, you need help with something, just advice about your life in general, ask in this, go comment something, I'll answer it in the next video. I'm gonna try to post one of these every single day just to get my watch time up there. So let's begin. I'm gonna start with the Instagram ones because they're shorter and easier to answer. Crypto. Am I a fan? Um, I used to gamble CSGO skins back in the day um, and I withdrew a couple grand in crypto and I withdrew like 30 grand um, when the whole crypto pump thing happened. I'm not into crypto. I did own Doge, Do, Do, Dogecoin at some point in my life, but it's not for me. Too volatile, too risky. I don't like taking risks in life. I've never really taken risks and it's, it's done pretty well for me. Anyway, what type of gym are you looking to open? Powerlifting, bodybuilding. So as you know, I'm opening my own gym. Subscribe to join the series. I'm doing a weekly video on my progress of opening my own gym. It's gonna be like everything. Just, it's gonna be, I don't know if I've said this, but it'll be a content creation-based creation gym. So you can rent out a camera, videographers, there'll be perfect lighting, mirrors to see your back at the same time. I got some re posing rooms. Just perfect, perfect, perfect ideas. And I think it's gonna be sick, like video editing stations. Um, and like workshops for like content and stuff. It's gonna be sick. It's gonna be perfect, right? I will give more information once I've got a proper plan in place. Um, I have a potential business partner who's coming around for a couple of days. Uh, we're gonna discuss things and then I can kinda, in the first YouTube video, when I, uh, when I post about the whole gym stuff, I will tell you more about what's gonna be included. So I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. What's the best way to build muscle if you're skinny? You need to be in a calorie surplus, so you're gonna be putting on fat. Um, obviously, when you're in a calorie surplus, you're giving your body all the energy it needs, excess energy as well, to build as much muscle as possible, perform your best, make sure your sleep is good. Don't stay up to like two in the morning doing fuck all. Don't have caffeine late at night. Try to eat as little processed foods as possible as you're gonna feel just better the more vegetables and stuff you eat. Um, try to keep your protein high, one gram of protein per pound of body weight. Train to complete failure in the gym. If I was gonna punch you in the face and I said one more rep, if you had that one more rep, do it. Don't be a pussy, especially in leg extensions. I know you all give up on leg extensions. Stick at it. Reese says, why are you so weak, winky face? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's the Instagram ones. I know Instagram's a bit dead. Um, I, uh, go follow my Instagram. It's Daniel underscore Ewan, E-W-E-N. Go follow it. There's a hair. It, it floated away. On to the YouTube comments now. Uh, there's quite a few of these. Brother already got six tubs of pre-workout, but may get some more because the pre is top notch. Also, Dan, if you're gonna be leader of Clash Royale clan, you gotta get into a higher league than bronze. That's not very nice, but my Clash Royale is Daniel Ewan, the clan name, just D-A-N-I-E-L-E-W-E-N. -E -E you can join it and we can win some wars. Yeah. YouTube content finally, day in the life. Would you like a day in the life? I feel like, I have an idea. You know the gym videos? No. I was gonna do like a day in the life, but then I wanna do like multiple days. A day in the life is possible. It's just a lot of effort and a lot of time out of my day. I would prefer to get like a videographer to video the whole day and then do it and they can handle it. I don't know. Would you want to see a day in the life? If you want to see a day in the life, if this gets 50 likes, I'll do a day in the life. How about that? 50 likes. If you're watching this this far, like the video, just click the button. If we get 50, I'll do a day in the life and I might do a little giveaway for a tub of pre-workout or something. Is there a link for the jewelry brand? I would buy it. Um, I don't even have a name yet, bro. Uh, as soon as I get a name, I will be opening up a website with email sign up. So basically what that means is you type your email in, I'll be giving away, oh, drum roll, a free anything. There'll be, I'm gonna be maybe like rings or something, something small, but I can, I'll be giving, Everyone who signs up an email before launch will get a discount, a 100% off discount code for one of the smaller rings. Um, so yeah, 
I will be giving whoever, yeah, you know what I mean. What would I need to open my own gym? Would I need bank loans and things like that? So it says 18 and he wants to know if he can open his gym. Obviously, I have looked into this a lot. Um, when it comes down to opening your own gym, the main cost involved is getting a unit on a lease. Now, most of these units will have a two to five year lease term, which means you'll be locked into two to five years. So if you have a five year lease for 2,500 pound a month, you are committed to five years of paying that money or you have to pay the full amount. Sometimes there's early fees you can pay, um, but that is the biggest cost. As for bank loans, if you have no credit score, no actual limited company business set up, they're just gonna, it's just like a normal bank loan. It's gonna, you might be able to get an investor or something. Um, I have enough money um, to kind of do it. But yeah, also if anyone is in North London, right, around like Finchley, Enfield, what for around that area um, and you want to get involved with helping this gym if you're I'm looking for employees I'm also looking um, for you know management things like that if you have if you have any equipment that I could buy proper nice stuff uh, give me a message um, just on Instagram or my email daniel at daniel you and how would you approach the launch of a new product without kind of brand recognition or having a brand already made or any kind of established brand reputation. So if you're wanting to launch your own product, like my pre-workout, for example, right? If I just started a new business called Smart Water Stims, right? Let, that, land, that nearly landed there. Uh, Smart Water Stims, right? First thing I would do is go around gyms and give up free samples. You want to, give people things for free yes it may hurt at the start but if you have no brand recognition or social media you want to just do local things get people's feedback get some reviews so when you do start growing on social media without any sort of pre-hype um you know you'll be good i gave out loads of free straps i would leave loads of straps around pure gym cuffs and everything just at pure gym and they're still there right now if you you know obviously i'm talking about gym brand stuff but anything you want to do Give them away for free, right? I know this is a bit, a bit dodgy. If you sell hoodies, give them to homeless people. The free advertising, I, I, I take that back. Anyway, you know what I mean? Just, I, I, I'm of such a fiddler, fiddly person. I just fiddle with everything. That's my tub, by the way. I'm not selling that. I know I've been chucking it around, so don't worry. Any advice on what to do when your parents don't want you to start your own business? Fuck them. Tell them to go fuck themselves in the ass um, in the nicest way possible. Your parents may be very old fashioned. Uh, my parents were skeptical at first when I started my meme pages at 14, but I was making more than my teachers at 16 and 17. You just gotta kind of prove to them that like, I mean, okay, before I answer your question, there's always two sides to things. If you are very lazy and dumb and you have no like discipline, like if your parents, if you're messy and you don't do anything and you're just a complete mess in life, then your parents may be right because they may just be worried you're not gonna actually succeed in starting your own business. Uh, what I recommend, mate, is if you do, if you're struggling, really struggling, consider my one-to-one -one mentoring. I don't unplug my own thing, but I can genuinely sit down with you in a call and I can help you. Um, we can all start with side hustles, start making 200, 500 pound profit a week. If you wanna buy my side hustle ebook for 30 pounds, actually 20 something pounds with code YouTube on my website, you should be able to make a couple hundred pound a week from that and then you know prove to them you can make money on your own and take it from there but yeah links are down below for my ebooks and my mentoring let me check this is recording so dp valenting says would you rather focus on one project a big project or lots of little ones i have very bad add so i can't focus on something for like when i edit this video it's gonna take me like three hours um realistically it depends on what you can manage if you want to have one big goal in mind like you know just focus on one business that you want to go on and you can you can give that your all and go for it but if you get easily distracted or you don't have that discipline to stick to something you may need multiple things that make you money um like i can sit on a tiktok live and make money i can sit and you know do some advertising make some money i can go i can do lots of things to make money you know what i mean but I have the option if I get bored, if I'm not enjoying it, I have different options. So it really depends on if you have a true passion for something, then go all out on it, right? Go all out on it. Like if I, I love food. If I could do like eating competitions and make millions, I would dedicate everything. I'd drop everything, right? That's just one example, but you gotta kind of understand that you need to go for what you enjoy because if you enjoy doing something, you can spend hours on it. I hate most of the things I do, mainly because 
I work for so long and it's very repetitive. Um, but that's why I'm trying to do this YouTube stuff because it gives me a goal. I wake up, I have to do this, I have to do that. You guys keep me accountable. Whereas when I don't post anything, I'm very lazy. And I'm not pretending I have a perfect life. Many people who are successful, like I've sat and played two hours of Clash Royale today, climbed like 500 trophies, you know. Um, but yeah, like no one's perfect, but at least I get shit done. But I, I just, I'm rambling now. I don't know what I'm saying, but you get what I mean, hopefully. This is crazy. Hopefully you stick to what you're saying and be consistent. Yes, I really, really want to try and stay on top of this now. Um, I just, I want a, I want a, what's that word? I want a purpose in life. You know, I want to like, I want to inspire people a lot more than I already am. I feel like if you have watched this video to the end, I genuinely really appreciate it. Um, but I feel like a lot of the shit I post on TikTok is just absolute dog shit. Like I am very snappy. I have, I have like diagnosed anger issues. I snap very easily. People frustrate me very, my, my attention span is small. Like anytime I have a conversation with someone more than five minutes, I just, I'm like, I don't know what they say. I just doze off. Um, so yeah, I, I really, like even now, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I want to try and provide a lot more value to you. That's why I'm doing this series. And I feel like this YouTube channel will help me get a lot more sales elsewhere. But that's a QA and a over for today. If you would like to ask more questions for the next one, please comment your questions down below. Um, if you want to start making 200 to 500 pounds profit a week, like all the other people have the reviews or in my story highlights, tagged on my Instagram below. My side hustle ebook is for sale. <sighs> Code YouTube. I don't know what I want to set the discount at. I think I might make it 20, 20 pounds. Half price, to 40 down to 20. That's the cheapest I've ever sold it for. Code YouTube. Um, yeah, for my side, I'll leave it. My mentoring is 200 pound a month if you want to start making money. It's all one on me on WhatsApp. If you want to get on a quick 15 minute phone call, message me on Instagram and we'll get a call and we can go over what you want to do and see if you'll be a good fit for the mentoring. Um, as for me opening a gym, if you want to help me out, order anything. My pre-workout, I have accessories, I have hoodies. If you want to like get a big bundle of stuff, DM me on Instagram. I'll work out a deal with you. I genuinely don't care. As long as I get money and you get a good deal, we both win. So if you want to spend like a hundred quid for some pre-workout, some other stuff, give me a message. We can do some bank transfer. Um, but yeah, it's been, I don't think there's anything else to say. Uh, but yeah, ask more questions down below. Join the Discord and Telegram and we're good to go. Goodbye.